and they're very talented and beautiful and smart and clever and funny and make wonderful videos which is why I've never really desired that that's just it's like it sounds nice on paper to become you know successful in that way but that's just that's like ah, the fluid C is a lot of I just felt like am I too old and like out of touch or something is that no. why I don't see people my age on YouTube has a way of making anyone feel that's like over the age of 35 like they're a has been ancient no. old withered up prune covered in dust and you're worthless and um no basically because i i keep seeing like millennials apologizing for their age for being a literal adult like that they're that they're in their you know like they're 36 and they're like i know i'm an old millennial and i'm just like why are we apologizing for i being don't an apologize adult? Apologize. Maybe there are people closer to my age um, yes. on YouTube doesn't live in shame and fear about talking about their age is the unexpected gypsy. And if you don't know who she is, I will link her channel down below because I was like, here, here's someone who's quote unquote brave for being honest about their age and talking about, you know, older lady quote unquote stuff. Um, we're just, it's like all you see is like, you know, young, hot girls in their twenties, like making cute art. And it's like, Hello? that's great. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not throwing shade. I'm just kind of like, is it that the public wants to see that? Or is it that YouTube pushes it? I'm like, what is it? I don't know. I had to teach myself how to edit videos, which was intense as hell and I think I cried more than once like <laughs> tears of frustration so did I. <laughs> anyway learning that was a whole big thing I'm to edit the videos film the videos all of that crap is just it's a lot it's a lot and I burnt myself out in 2021 doing yeah. it weekly and I was frustrated because my channel wasn't really picking up much momentum so I kind of put it to the side and I think I came back maybe six months later I know that there are other people out there I just don't visually see it showing up too often um there's loads of people and I just wish more and if there are people like in their 40s and 50s making videos and you're out like please share your age it would be so refreshing i'm 35 have this shame about i had to really i was really trying to radically accept myself my quirks my weirdness my voice you're and beautiful you what, there's nothing more brutal than getting used to yourself and accepting yourself and i'm still struggling with that no and how don't you're beautiful yourself. there was this funny quote on curb your enthusiasm the other week and it was larry david talking about how like you look at yourself in the mirror and you feel and you like the you like what you see but the mirror is showing what you what you see and then you see a photograph of yourself okay real quick i'm gonna read you the quote because i butcher the shit out of it when I say <laughs> you it did so larry david says have you noticed when you take a picture you don't look nearly as good as you do in the mirror because the mirror is how you see yourself but a photo is how you're seen yeah it's so true and yeah. i've always thought that i'm like why is it like we can edit we like filter and edit ourselves in the mirror, whether it's a good or bad filter, to radically oh. accept who and what I am and what I look like. You're amazing. Like all, all the quirks, warts and all, all yep. that stuff. Who wants polish? I'm still, I'm getting better and it's about progress, not perfection. Yep. And. I've, I've really tried to be like, who cares? Who cares if things don't go well? Who cares uh -huh. if nobody watches the video? Who cares if nobody buys my stuff? The, the bills we have to pay, they care. But you know, <laughs> other than that, I'm just gonna keep that loosey goosey chill. I'll post when I post. Yeah. I cannot promise posting every week. Because That's okay. I think it's healthy for me. Nope. Um, when yeah. you're passionate about something and you want to do it, and you want to share something with the world the passion and willpower and the joy that it brings you has to way outweigh 
the fucks that you give about it. Agreed. Um, yeah, I, I guess that's all there is to say. So I hope you're doing well. Thank you for sticking around if you've been here waiting for me to upload. And, yes. Um, if you're new, thanks for being here. I love this woman. Right, Debs. Right. This is a message for Debs, by the way. Right. There are so many people out there, your age group, sort of doing the same stuff, Debs, right? I think there's Natasha as well. Um, there's obviously Sandy Hester. Um, there's Deborah. There, there's just so many of them, right? There's loads, okay? And I, I understand that you think, oh, well, they're different artists. They're not They're not like me. No, no, they, they are because they started out like you. Oh, you're just so amazing. And I know that you're going through a struggle with body dysmorphia and perimenopause. I get you, sister. I used to be a size six, right? Let me just, let, this is all for the women. This might be TMI, but I think we all just need to, just a just to kind of, yeah, well, I mean, what is that about? I ate two bacon sandwiches, guys. That is my body, yeah. Um, I was a size six, slender thing. If you don't believe me, here is one. Here's one here, yeah. Um, that was when I met my husband. I know, I know, I was a foxy lady. But you know, it things change. And uh, I always wanted curves, me. I always wanted curves. I was very jealous of the curvaceous woman. I used to, um, I used to look at them during still life and, and I only ever request curvaceous women for my still life sessions when I was learning that. Uh, sorry, not still life. Um, what the bloody hell is it called? Life drawing. <sighs> I just felt there was something so beautiful and it's all very feminine, very womanly. It's like, you know, Oh, I just loved it. Anyway, I understand that's probably not what you want to hear me say, right? But that's just, I'm just being honest. But I know you've got your own thing and I know that no matter what I say today is going to make you feel any better about your situation. And I get it, right? And it's not me kind of piping on. It's just I care about you and you're a great person. You uh, know what's going on with me at the moment and that's a journey in and of itself. <laughs> Lord knows what's going on there. And so we all just got to stick together. But you know, you're stroke, you're not alone. YouTube is is fickle. Yeah, they have their own, they're a business as well. Uh, but you can use YouTube as a platform to just to, to achieve so much more than than the success that it promises. You know, if you upload regularly, if you follow the trends, if you do the algorithm thing, if you do what they want you to do, like go live, do shorts, all this stuff, just don't think about any of that. You've got a community of people that care about you, that see you for as a human being, not as someone on YouTube. The 20 year olds, they make it their job, so they supply YouTube with what they want. They're, that's their job. I think they're, they're in love with YouTube rather than lo in love with a community. You know, they don't see, they may not even see their subscribers as people, as genuine people, which is not a horror, I'm not being horrible when I say that. Please don't come for me. Um, it's, it's not that, I'm just saying that they, they, I see people, when I see a subscriber, I see a person, yeah? Um, a person that's bothered to take the time to subscribe to my channel and to just, just to follow me on my journey. And I know that they're people because they comment and they tell me about their lives and they tell me about their stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, this is a person. And that's just the way I see it. Ask anyone on this channel. I always try my best to um, comment to them personally. To, to make my comments, very rarely do I make them generic unless they sort of send me maybe the odd emoji and I'm like, well, how do I reply to that? But ultimately I always try and, I try and make their comments that they send me personal. But you know, that's what YouTube for me is about, you know? I just love all my community. Debs, we wouldn't have met if it hadn't have been for this community. And uh, you're such a dude. You're such an awkward ass, fabulous dude. I love that you're awkward. You're a human being. I love that your channel's raw. I love that you're not polished and professional and, and, and what have you. I love that. You're one of my first subscribers. You were one of the first people that commented on my videos. You know, I'll never forget that. I remember the first person that commented on, on my video and it was a girl called Daisy who I haven't um, heard from in a while. I need to, I need, I'm probably gonna 
um, message her on Instagram, make sure she's okay, her and her family are okay. Daisy was the first person that commented on my videos and then you were not long after that. So you being on YouTube, even as a subscriber or as a, or a like a like a customer, if you like, you made a, a massive impact on my life. I know you think I'm some sort of superwoman for <laughs> doing the amount I do on YouTube, and I've got a Patreon and I've got a sketchbook party. And all. I know that, but it's because. Um, I don't have a, a, a like a flourishing business, right? And I'm not saying that you haven't had your struggles, right? My business is fairly new, so my orders on my orders on my chat, my my website are not as you know forthcoming. That's okay. Once you've kind of got a print, you've got a print, right? So that's why I thought, right? Well, I need to diversify. One of the ways I'm going to do this is I'm going to make my Patreon, and I'm going to do all that, right? As you know, because you were the first one I told about my Patreon. You were the first one I told about my Patreon. I emailed you and asked you about it, and you gave me some advice, and I took that advice, and I've made my Patreon. You're amazing. I love that you are honest about your female struggles and they are they are absolutely female struggles perimenopause and stuff like that is brutal and that's the thing there are so many people out there that need to hear your story whenever that is whether that's once a month tw twice a month don't worry about trying to be consistent and everything don't worry about all that bollocks lots of people tell you that yeah i missed one video and i felt awful right but when i consider but I do probably, you know, I upload two a week, um, but I'm constantly filming my journey. I'm, that's the career I chose, I suppose. I can't really moan about that, really. I'm not moaning about it. It's just, the whole point to this laborous bloody thing is that you are amazing and you're you. That's the thing. Don't worry about these 20 year olds. Don't worry about even the 50 year olds. Don't worry about people in your age range. Don't worry about their success and what they're doing. Because I don't care about them. I care about you. I'm on your channel because I want to see you and your journey. I don't want to see the same thing over and over again. No one wants that. You know, if people don't like my thingy, they just don't subscribe. That's fine. I'm not offended. Does it upset me when I lose a subscriber? Yeah, of course it does. I'm a human being who is working tirelessly at whatever this is. Do I want to be YouTube famous? No, but do would I like YouTube to pay for a lifestyle that I, I then don't have to necessarily worry about, yeah. Would that be the definition of becoming YouTube famous? More than likely, because it would take that for that to happen. But first and foremost, I love my community. I love you all dearly. You have helped me through some severely dark times. I've met some people on here that I'll be friends with for life, you being one of them. And don't worry. If you don't upload for a month or two, I'm not going anywhere. If you just want to use it for yourself and to keep in touch with the people that you know care, and you know we care because we will have stayed and we will have um, keep popping in, yeah? Then you do that. But you are appreciated. We see you. We love you. And I want to personally thank you for everything you've done for me and my channel. All the advice you've given me, the emails of concern, but you are amazing. You've given me some of my biggest belly laughs ever with you and your channel. And uh, don't underestimate the impact you have. I know that that impact might seem minute um, uh, with regards to the what you get seen with, you know, that, that behind the scenes of YouTube, the numbers, the, the statistics. I don't look at them anymore. I don't, I don't bother my ass with them. Um, I create content I'm passionate about and want to create. Um, I create content that is from requesting me, like in Lynette's texture video. Um, and uh, there's a couple more videos I've got now on my list, you know, from people over, either over at Patreon or Sketchbook Party. Um, I always try and push towards making a channel that the, the, the people that people, individuals request of me and that I request of myself. Um, I don't pander to this algorithm, never have done. Did at the start, tried, there was that two week period where I did try, but I don't, I don't bother with it anymore. I do me, 
yeah I, I just do me and and that's all um, and I just if someone requests it I know that if they want it someone else will want it that was my ethos and plus do you know how much of a joy it is to create a video that someone requests it's like the pressure's off it's like oh okay because I know I know someone will want it rather than me going does that make sense is that gonna go oh I don't know don't worry about it you always said to me that if I needed a break that you wouldn't be going anywhere and that's all you need to remember. The people that stick with you, people that care, they wanna know about your story, they wanna know about what's happening, they wanna know about your quirky stuff, they love you, you know, they care about you. And that's, trust me, that's all that matters because that's all I think about. Don't think about these 20 year olds, yeah. That's, they're, they're in a different world, in a different, in a different sector of YouTube, yeah. They, they're doing them, they're, they're making their own success and why not, good for them. Yeah, they've cracked the code, whatever that code may be, good for them, they found the demographic. I don't begrudge them that, I know you don't, but that's not what YouTube is made up for and YouTube is used by so many other people. They're people like us, Debs, you know, there, there is a massive community out there of people like us that just wanna find like-minded people, see them every week, learn new tricks, feel like they're a part of something, so they don't feel forgotten about, that they're listened to. That's what this community means, this is what it's about, and that's what you need to remember because you're very much part of that community and we love you very much. So I know you've been going through a difficult time. I understand <laughs> that difficult time so much. But the stuff you've spoken about is all white noise. It's smoke and mirrors, it means nothing, okay? Um, and that's all you need to remember. Sorry for getting emotional. I don't get emotional online like this, ever, ever. I refuse, but sometimes it can't be helped. Um, I understand your difficult time. Um, anyway, you're amazing. And that, and I know the mirrors, the body to small for you, that stuff. Again, in my mind, it's all smoke and mirrors, but I do understand the pain and the torment that one can put themselves through when they are confronted with those internal images of themselves. It's very uncomfortable and it's very, very real. The pain is very real. So I do not want to dismiss any of that. I just wanted to tell you that I've watched your video. You are amazing and um, you do you. Post when you want, do what you want. Love you. Mm.